Today, I'm going to show you a very quick, easy to follow video how to install the Trend Anywhere app and pair it and set it up with your iPhone, because that's what I have. You can use an Android, same process. Just got to go to the Android store or Google store to get that app. I'm going to show you how to do it on this app or this device right here, my favorite Navitech from Trend Networks. Extremely easy, easy to follow, and it should get you going with all your reports and some of that. Let's go into this. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the app on our phone. I have a spare iPhone with no cellular capabilities, but it has Wi-Fi. So we need the Trend Networks Anywhere app which is here. You can get it from the iPhone store or if you're using an Android in the Android store. Then what we need to do is make sure that this is ready to receive some reports. I've already created some reports, but we need to go into setup and then down to reports. In here, you will see the SSID that it broadcasts and the password. You'll need this so that way you can connect your phone to it because it connects to this device via Wi-Fi, there's a Wi-Fi dongle on the top. So we'll go like this. We'll go back out of here. We'll go to jobs. You can see that I have a YouTube demo job in there. And then I've got three tests and they all pass 100%. So we'll log into our phone and we need to connect to that SSID. So on this phone, we'll go to Wi-Fi and then trend network. We'll see that we've got it connected here. So we'll go Back to the app. In the app, we have it here and it's connected via Wi-Fi. Now what we wanna do is we wanna click on this in the phone here, cause that's what we see for your data. We wanna go select, we click this, and then we click download. On the device here, you'll see that it's generating, it creates three reports. And then now it's downloading the report. So now we can go onto the phone and go download it. And we can click on the YouTube demo one that I just did. We can click on this. And now we see our full report downloaded to our phone. Pretty easy. Now, side note, it is important on this device, on the Navitech or another device that has this capability, such as the LAN Explorer, to go into system and then into your owner and set this information up. So that way, when you do your reports, all this detailed information comes up in your reports. If you don't have it in there, the reports won't show it. And by that, what I mean is, if we go here, we have to zoom in, this might be hard. You'll see that it only says Jason's lab in here on this report. It doesn't show any of the other information because I don't have it on here. So it is critical that you put this information here if you want it in your report. The reports will show you a lot of data. So I've downloaded another report, which is right here, number three. You can see that I have a pod and it was ID seven, which was this one right here, in here. And it was set correctly to cat six, 56 B UTP. The cable is three feet long and it passed 100%, right? Okay, as you can tell, setting it up on the phone, connecting it to this device, setting up the SSID and pulling a report, very, very easy. If you have any questions, let me know. Comments down below. Um, anything from there on, just let me know. Thanks very much and for watching. Oh, and go like and subscribe if you like the content. See you later.